You would give me questions that I wouldn't know how to answer. I'm going to have to bullshit you, but I'm not a bullshitter. So I have to know exactly what everything, you know, where everything happened and all that. We're about to go up there to where their hideout was, so we're kind of sticking back so I can explore a little bit more. But I'm very excited about this. Of course, you guys remember this from my last vlog. Here's that spot. Oh, well. So here's where they uh in the movie though, in the movie like halfway up here is where the boiler room is, but you guys all saw where that was. It still looks exactly the same. Like I feel like the boiler room would have been back here in the movie somewhere. And then this leads up to their hideaway upstairs. I'm so excited. I'm like shaking. <sighs> so right now we're waiting. They're going to take us in groups to go up the steps and everything. I'm so excited. I'm like fangirling right now. I can't wait. He's fangirling. I can't wait. No, no, no. It's not that bad. <laughs> so... This is how the geography of the movie plays out, if you're paying attention to the movie. They come through the ceiling, you know, into their hideout area, and then they go down the stairs, and that supposedly leads to the boiler room, because they keep going through all these directions. And then from the boiler room, they come out into the hallway, which is this hallway, which leads out into the mall. That's the geography of the movie. Of course, now you've seen most of those spots, they are not really connected at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that's movie magic. It doesn't have to connect, it just has to look good. So, you see them come out of an alcove after they come from the boiler room. You might think it's that alcove right there. It is not, and here's the reason why. When you see the view of them coming out of the alcove, you can see like sort of those junction boxes or whatever is up there, and they're very fairly close to where they come out of. So that made me think, okay, it's gotta be over here. And then looking around, you can see where they filled in an alcove of some sort because they have new drywall here that does not match all the rest of the entire wall. <laughs> So this is where the alcove was that they keep coming into and out of from the boiler room to go into the mall. Also in the movie, at one point, Steven comes through and you see writing on the wall, it says behind him in the view, B, B, and B, and that was the name of the store that was in this exact spot here. So I just filmed pictures of that little uh, tribute thing they had, and now we're walking down these steps. I'm just so confused right now. I feel like my whole world has been a lie, because they're taking us places that doesn't even make sense in my head, because that's not how they filmed it in the movie. I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. I don't even know where anybody is. I'm just walking around the bottom of the mall now. Sound like a crazy person. Come close so you can see what I have to say. Come close. All right. There is some footage out there of the uh, behind the scenes making of Dawn of the Dead. I think there was some shot by the local Pittsburgh Evening News Magazine TV show. And you see them filming some scenes here. You see George Romero, Mike Gornick, filming a scene of Roger and Peter bringing their wagon. I'm sorry. They bring it right here and they start bringing their stuff up after they shopped in JCPenney's and took that wagon full of stuff. And you see these four doors here in the shot, too. So this is where they film that, and as you see and you enter, it's still the same color. There are some differences, and we're gonna go up and I'll explain that. So like he was saying, this right here is the doorway. At least where it was. And then they would've came out. And then, boom, right there, where he's standing. Hi. <laughs> oh man, this is cool. Thank you so much. So back there, that's where the bikers came down. Back there, 
on that road. Where everything, you know, it all takes place right here in this section of the roof because the catch to get on the roof is actually right over here too. And this gentleman over here asked me, okay, where are we the glass enclosure? If you were to go up there, there's a hatch, not a glass enclosure. Alright guys, so the tour is over. So we're we're gonna go out to the uh, car. Eat a sandwich because we're hungry. That was like three hours. You work here. And then we're gonna go in and check out everything else they have because they have like all these vendors and all these different things. I'm very excited.